Hey everyone, um, I've got some 50 cent comics I'm going to show off today. Um, I've got, got a fairly thick stack here. Um, um, what was I going to say? Um, this weekend I probably won't be doing any videos I've got uh, some some family coming to see us so I probably won't be uploading any videos or doing any videos I'm gonna try and watch some YouTube if I can but I don't know just yet so the weekend that's probably not a going to be any uploads um, and next week I'm doing a different uh, work schedule at work so uh, I don't know if I'll upload any videos next week either so I might have a week away from YouTube I don't know I might be I don't know yet I'll see how I go um, I want to get some game related uh, videos out and stuff because um, the new uh, system for the uh, PlayStation and everything's out right now I want to kind of I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube about it but I want to roughly cover that um, what they offer and everything and what the tiers are and stuff like that and um, That's about it really. Uh, I've got some games to do as well. Uh, I might do some gameplay, I don't know. Um, I'll get into these comics, I guess. <laughs> uh, the first one that's just randomly on top is uh, the Green Goblin number... My eyes aren't working. Number six. I've just got up so I'm kind of half asleep still. Uh, Green Goblin number six. I've never read the Green Goblin. This one guest starring um, uh, Daredevil. The next one is uh, I don't know what year it was, but this one was like half price. It's got 225 on the front, but I didn't pay to 225. And apparently, it's the first appearance of Banjo, whoever Banjo is. Uh, spec the spectacular Spider-Man 156. So it's a so it's a key of some sort. Got in the way again. Uh, and now we've got Spectacular Spider Man 190. I like that cover with uh, Rhino on the front. Spider Man's getting a bit of a hug. And again, that was a half price book. They've got some really cool um, half price books at the moment in there. I, I don't know why the prices are marked down because there's some really decent books. I've uh, got another Green Goblin number two. Oh. And there's Rhino on the cover again. Uh, then we've got Spider Man. Um, I think it's 66 <laughs> if not oh well another green goblin number 7 this one is a key book but it's got a really bad a couple of about two or three bad spine ticks but I don't have the book so I only paid like two dollars or so for it so I picked it up because I don't have it 
um, the web of spider-man 100 um, and it's a foil cover and it's the first appearance of the um, spider-man armor I picked it up I don't have it so I thought I'll grab that hey another green goblin number five that's a nice cover as well and we've got the amazing spider-man that's a weird how I've done that uh, 401 and we're moving on to uh, Star Wars classic Star Wars number one hmm. I'll give it a read, see what it's like. I like Star Wars books, they always seem to be pretty good stories in them. Uh, I picked this up because it's uh, image basically, and it's got a bit of foil on it. I like foil. <laughs> but other than that, it's got a terrible backing board. I hate these backing boards. Uh, Supreme number one and it's a number one that's why I picked it up as well um, these covers are kind of weird to me but I picked it up uh, trying to find the um, number of the book I, I don't really see it so I'm just gonna it's the world's finest the world's finest it's got Batman and Superman in it I mean it's got a tractor on the front hey that's a vehicle I could have had if I had that book I could have shown that see Rush you could have shown this because I know you've got this I'm yammering uh, this was I paid 50 cents for it so I don't care um, I'm gonna have a look at it in fact uh, it's a free book but I paid 50 cents for it <laughs> um, it's the um, Stormbreakers 2020 2020 should I say sketchbook and it's actually, uh, let me see, it tells you a bit about the artists and then it's got some of the sketches in it. There's Patrick Gleason, and it's got the, the web head, the web head up here and some more of his art which I thought was pretty cool. I didn't actually see what's in it, but I seen the cover and I thought, oh, I'll pick that up just because. You see, it tells you a bit about the, each artist and then it shows you some of the artwork. It's always nice to get their artwork, some artwork. And then at the back, it's got a... Uh, some pets and some uh, some kids are drawing as well it's kind of interesting I've not not seen it before I didn't probably oh, I might have been collecting comics at that year at that time I don't know uh, pick this up because um, I've got one, two, three. So I thought I'll pick number four up so I can continue reading the story. I didn't see any more, I would have picked them up. Uh, Geiger number four. That That is a real good story. I got an AOK off um, Born. No, I won some books, that's what it was. Uh, uh, off um, S. Vaughan. 82 um, Excalibur 
number four. It's a cool cover. This one uh, kind of looks. I don't know if it's how the book is or whether it's just uh, had a bit of a hard life. It's kind of brown around the edges. Um, Daredevil number one. Nice, nice looking book, but it's kind of old looking, if you know what I mean. And then we've got Superman, The Man of Steel, number 122. It's a kind of different cover. Uh, this one, it was shiny, so I got it. <laughs> and it's a number one book. And it's like kind of embossed as well. And this one is, I'll take it out the back, I think it's in pretty good shape, I mean, it's not an expensive book, yeah no spine ticks, so it might be like a Oh, it's got a ding on the corner, a little uh, It won't be anything under a nine It's nice and shiny That's a uh, Warlock Chronicles number one You can see it's nice nice and shiny and it's I don't know if you can see it's all the word in and He's actually embossed. Pretty cool. Not bad for 50 cents. And this book, I've got, got about three, three copies of this. And for some reason, every one of them is kind of water damaged. Um, Gen 13, number 3. Interactive. Gen 13, interactive. I know Gen 13 is pretty cool, but I thought I'd pick it up. Uh, this book, uh, I need to get number one now on this. I know it, it's a good story from what I hear. Uh, not all robots, number two. This one I picked up because it's a cool cover and I paid half price for this one. Uh, the Walking Dead Deluxe number 19. It's got Michonne on there with uh, zombies. I never. I watched the first couple of seasons of The Walking Dead and then I just stopped watching it. I like zombies but I just stopped watching it. Um, I've seen a um, Resident Evil series coming out soon. That looks cool. I don't know where it's coming though. I can't remember now. Um, the official handbook of the Marvel Universe Deluxe Edition number 7. I've never seen these before and I picked it up. It's got like a wrap around cover. I'm, this video is going to be long because I'm r rambling on about the book. It's got a wrap around cover and it basically gives you. Never seen him. I'll try and find someone that we know. It gives you a story about each character that's actually in the book. This book's kind of got a crease down the mid, like the pages inside. Can't even find anyone that I know. Uh, uh, we'll go with him. Krang. I've never heard of him, but tells you, gives you pictures of him, and it tells you a little story about him.
which is different and that was 50 cents it's got a oh, why is that sticking to there um, it's got a three dollar price on it but I didn't pay three three dollars it was 50 cents and then we've got um, the same book but number 14 well the same series but number 14 should I say I won't go into that one because you know what it's like uh, I picked an another few Guardians of the Galaxy up 24 number 6 and this has got the first appearance of this um, young boy girl whatever it is uh, 15 Uh, then we move on to some Teen Titans, Tales of the Teen Titans, number 46. Tales of the Teen Titans, number 45. Tales of the Teen Titans, 53. Um, put them down. Then we move on to some Uncanny X-Men. And these were a dollar as well. Uh, this is 284. I'm getting quite a few of the Uncanny X-Men now. Uh, 286. 289. A kiss cover. Uh, this has got a first appearance of someone Ozymandias or someone uh, 332 X-Men Uncanny X-Men uh, then we've got The Amazing X-Men number 3 then we've got Uncanny X-Men 288 And then we've got Uncanny X-Men 276. Some Wolverine going on there. Well, that's my uh, my uh, comic pickups that I picked up a few weeks. Was it a few weeks ago? I don't know. Uh, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching please subscribe share like ring the bell uh, like I say I remind you I probably won't be doing any uploads over the weekend because I won't have time um, and next week I'm on a different work schedule just for the week so I'm not sure if I'll be uploading anything and I, I might I might do some video game stuff. Anyway, uh, bye. Take care.